Well, hey there, guys, and welcome back. On this week's show, a bicycle repair stand. Well, those of you that know me personally know that I love to cycle, and I'm getting back into it again this year, and I need to do some adjustment on my derailers for my gear set. And for that, it's easiest to do it with a bicycle repair stand. But if you check these things online or try to purchase them for a dirt cheap one, you're looking at about $200 or more. And the higher quality you get, of course, the more expensive. But I really don't want to spend that kind of money on a stand um, because the amount that I use it just wouldn't justify the price of the unit itself. So on today's show, I've come up with an idea of how to make my own shop made one. And it all starts with a few things from your big box plumbing supply. Well, the majority of the supplies for this project were purchased from the big box store in my area. And the first thing that you need will be a three foot length, a 36 inch length of three quarter inch black pipe and one that is threaded on both ends. You will also need, while you're in that plumbing aisle, a, the same pipe, the black iron pipe, three quarters of an inch threaded on each side, and this will be a 12 inch length. You will also require a 90 degree elbow, um, one that is threaded to accept the pipes and the very last thing that you will need, at least from the big box store, will be a three quarter inch flange. Now, these are basically all the parts that we're going to need to construct our bicycle work stand. But there is one other thing that we need. And for me, I already have some spares in my shop because I replaced all of these a little while back and that would be one bar clamp head and tail stock. Um, a little while ago, I replaced all of mine. So I had these spare ones. They're not exactly high quality, um, but I had them kicking around. So you need one of these. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to assemble our pipe. Well, this assembly could not be easier the first thing you want to do is you want to thread one end of the 12 inch pipe into your 90 degree elbow. And the other end of your elbow will get threaded in onto the 36 inch piece, just like that. Now for now, these are just finger tight uh, you can crank them down with some channel locks if you wish or a pipe wrench. You don't need a video of me doing that. The next thing that you want to do is you want to mount your flange at the opposite end of your three foot section. But before we do that, we need to find a stud in the ceiling of our shop. Well, up here at the ceiling of the shop, I'm looking to put my flange in this area right here. And we do have a beam right here. So this is the area that I'm looking to screw my flange into. I want to get at least two of the four mounting bolts screwed directly into this stud. So now that I have the location of the stud marked on my ceiling, I'm going to thread our flange here onto the opposite end of our three foot length of pipe. And then I'm going to go around and tighten all of our parts before I screw them into place. So get a pipe wrench or uh, a pair of channel locks and tighten all of these pieces down. And with our sections tightened down, we can now screw this to our ceiling, making sure that we catch 
at least two of our mounting holes in the stud. Um, one thing you also want to remember is the 12 inch piece right here. This is where our bike will be along this run. So you want to face your pipe in such a way that it's gonna have your bike so that you can work on it uh, once you get it mounted. So for this application, I am using some number 10 by two inch screws and we'll just get one in just to get it started. Now that's roughly where I want it. So I'm just going to adjust it to get the final layout and then I'll insert the other four screws. Well, the next pieces that we need are just a couple pieces of scrap four, and they are three and a quarter inches long and they're three inches wide. And what they are going to be for is they are going to be our retaining blocks when holding our seat post. So they will get mounted onto our clamps just like this. But in order to do that, we need to drill a hole that will allow our pipe to pass through this bar. So first things first, let's measure and mark and drill the hole that we need to fit the outside diameter of our three quarter inch black pipe. Just mark our center line and for my particular application, we want to come up seven eighths of an inch from the bottom and that will be the center point of our hole. We'll do the same thing on our other block, mark our center line, and then seven eighths of an inch up from the bottom. And now for our hole, I will drill a one and one eighth diameter through hole in both of our pieces. Well, now that you have that hole drilled in both of your pieces, you want to measure from the edge of the hole to the edge of your block and place a mark halfway between that dimension. I've clamped both the blocks together, aligning our one and an eight through holes. We're gonna turn it on its side and with the blocks clamped together, we're going to drill down through. This will be to house our seat post. So just, this is a tough drill. So take it slow, take it easy, and uh, let the drill do its job and work its way down through the stock. Well, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but much like our other hole that housed our pipe, uh, this as well for our seat post is a one and one eighth diameter hole. So you want to unclamp these now and we need to mount them to our blocks. So, or to our tail and headstock of our pipe clamp. So what I'm going to do is right at the top of each one of our pipe clamps, just up in here, right through the metal, I'm going to drill a couple of entry holes so that I can place some mounting screws to hold these blocks securely in place. And now with those mounting holes drilled in each of our uh, clamp pieces, both the head and the tailstock, let's head over to our bike rack and we can install these. Well, the very first piece to get slid on will be our tailstock. So you just compress your spring retainers here and gently slide it over your pipe and move it to the back. The next piece that you want to install will be one of these pieces and you want this section here, this will be the one that holds your uh, seat post, that will be facing in. The next piece, again the 2x4, but the seat post section will be facing the opposite way so that they meet in the middle. And then the last piece that you need to install will be our headstock for our clamp. And for that, it gets threaded on here onto our pipe. 
Now you just want to remember that pipe or these holes here need to be vertical, not horizontal. It's not going to work like this. You got to have them up like this in order for this clamp to work. So we're going to spin this around as best we can to get it into that configuration. There we go, just like that. One more little tweak. There we go. And with the thread tightening, we're going to get that to work to our advantage. So the bike will be mounted on this side so that the weight of the bike will actually be pulling down to tighten our fixture instead of having it loose. So what we're going to do now is we're going to line up our pieces so that they're the way that we want them. We're going to bring our tailstock up to our clamp or up to our wooden blocks. And once we're happy with the way we have it, we're going to check it with the level to make sure that it's hanging the way that we want. I'm going to tighten this to hold everything in place, double check our alignment, and then we can drive a couple of three quarter inch number eight screws into each one of our uh, clamp pieces to hold our two by four blocks into place. There you go. And with a few of those three quarter inch screws in place, that will just hold our uh, retainer blocks or seat post blocks steady. Well, there's one more thing that I'd like to add to this project. And I'll show you what that is. Well, the very last thing that I want to add to this is a little bit of foam weather stripping. It's half inch wide. Uh, I believe it's a half inch deep, which may be a little much, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right here on these edges of our retainer blocks. And it's just to protect my seat post. I do not have a steel seat post. My bike is composite. so. Uh, I need it to protect that post. So I'm just going to adhere a small little piece of the weather stripping inside of each one of these blocks and then I'll show you how to mount the bike. Now in order to mount your bike in place, it's a pretty simple process. You just raise your bike up, place your seat post in that one and one eighth inch split hole, line it up so it's almost in place and then tighten down your clamp. Now the hole is bigger than what our seat post is. So that foam is going to help protect it and it's going to help hold it in place. And then from there, you can go ahead and work on your gears or whatever you like. Uh, I will remind you guys, this is not for reefing on a bike. If you need to remove pedals and that sort of thing, maybe this stand isn't right for you, then you should be doing that on the ground anyway. But for things like derailleur adjustments and that sort of thing where you have to elevate the bike to see that it's working properly, this is a perfect uh, unit to have. And it's temporary sort of thing or it's, it's, uh, it's portable, we'll call it, because I can remove it. The thing here, I may or may not, once I work on it a bit, I may weld some bracing here. Not quite sure, we'll see how that goes. But for now, this is our bike stand. Well, here is the beauty of what, what I think anyway, is the beauty of this bike stand. Uh, once you're finished working on your bike and you're all happy with the way that it's functioning, take your bike out of there. And this is, this is what I think is the best part for me. Let me just sit my bike over here. And that is, from this point, from this point, it's just a matter of unscrewing it from our ceiling flange, just like this. There we go. And now this section here can hang up on the rack with our pipe clamps. Just sit up there like a normal pipe clamp. It's out of the way. It takes up no extra room in your shop. The flange is always there for when you want to work on your bike and you, uh, you don't have to worry about it. And there you have it. A bicycle work stand.
Guys, this idea is so simple, it's not even funny. And for a few dollars, you can make your own. Now, how much is a few dollars? I don't want to include that clamp because I already had it. It was up in the attic of my shop, so I just climb up and get it down. It was a spare one, a cheaper one that I had from years ago when I utilized what I had. So I'll see if I can find a link to cheaper clamps to use. But as far as the pipes and the flanges and the elbow, all material, all in, taxes included, it cost me $30. So it enables me to work on my bicycle, to adjust my brakes and my gears the way that I need to and not worry about having to hold up one end and try to pedal and reach the brake and try to shift. It just makes it that much easier. Will I weld bracing on it? I don't know. I have to work on the gears to see how confident I am in the way that it holds. It may need some bracing both up top and down at the bottom, but for now it doesn't seem to need it. For now it seems just fine. You have to remember though, my bike is composite. It is, uh, it is not a metal bike. So it's a lot lighter. My entire bike accessories and all weighs about 19 to 23 pounds, depending on what I have on it at the time. So there's not a lot of strain on those uh, threaded joints. With that being said, I may weld those joints so that they never come apart and that will help in keeping them the way that it is. I'll just keep the one up top so that it's threaded and able to be removed. If you don't have a welder but you want to add bracing to that elbow, so do it. You don't need a welder to do it. You can drill the pipe and bolt on angle brackets there to solidify that elbow joint and keep it from flexing but honestly I, I don't know if that's necessary at this point in time it all depends on your comfort level and how you feel about your bike hanging from the ceiling like this guys I would like to point out here that mounting this thing on the ceiling was the option that worked best for me now you guys that may not work for you and if that's the case that's just fine you can very easily mount that flange to a plywood base. You could get a three foot by three foot plywood base, mount it at the back, mount your flange at the back of it so that your bike hangs towards the front in towards the plywood. You could even build a two by four frame around that to solidify the plywood. Heck, on that upright three foot piece of pipe, if you have an extra clamp or if you make an extra bracket, you could hang a little box there um, to hold your tools for working on your bicycle. It depends on how far you want to take it. For me, I just want to adjust my, my brakes and my gears. So for now, it's just fine. I may add to it a little later, who knows? But for now, it suits my purpose and hopefully it will suit yours as well. If you haven't already, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you don't miss the notifications of future episodes of the show. This has been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed this. And you know what? This is a project that anybody can make. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that if you're looking to make your own bike stand, this one here will suit your needs. And I also hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.